So, I'm back. And, why is my guy white in my picture? <laughs> He's black. And, the game. But white in the picture. I find that kind of racist. What? Hit marker? Gay. Come on! Stupid hit markers. Ah! Shit. M95. I guess this is like this version of the M98 or this game version of it. God damn it, I forgot to put my timer on again. God damn it. Ah, oh, man. Um, yeah. So, um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this series, because it's not like my Minecraft where I just have episodes and I continue on from where I left off. Um, it's a new video every time. So, um, uh, I thought maybe, like, I'm not going to number them like Battlefield Episode 1, Battlefield Episode 2, even though I did that for the first video, but uh, I'm just going to call it Battlefield after. I'll edit it. Anyways, oh, there's a guy. Come on. Oh, shit. There's two guys. Oh, man. So, I'm just going to talk about certain things. And, um, I guess this video will be, um, Black Ops, I guess. I'll, I'll talk about Black Ops. I don't know. Um, so first of all, uh, I'm going to get Black Ops 2. I'm not just getting the normal edition. I'm getting the super duper Jesus edition. Because I'm that guy. And I'm getting the freaking care package edition. Because I'm that guy, like I just said. Uh, it's going to come to about 200 bucks. Uh, with taxes and everything. Uh, it's going to come, obviously, with the care package. Oh, okay. It's going to come in the care package with a quad rotor slash dragonfly or whatever you want to call it. Um, I call it the quad rotor. Um, what else is going to be? Uh, the game, obviously, with exclusive, like, disc, or not disc, case, blah, 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 exclusive map, like, uh, Nuketown 2025 and Nuketown Zombies. So, as I'm talking about Nuketown, Nuketown Zombies, that gets me onto my next topic, which is Black Ops 2 Zombies, which, um, I'm really excited for, and, uh, I'm recording this on Friday, October 12th. Which is supposed to be the day that they were going to release some actual zombies gameplay. Um, I don't know when this video will be uploaded. It might be uploaded Sunday or Monday. I'm not sure. But uh, they're supposed to have gameplay this day on the Friday. So hopefully they do. Because um, I'm really pumped for zombies. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Like the classical, the classic zombies in uh, the other games. And, uh, it seems like in this game they're going to be trying to do a lot more shit. Um, by the bits and pieces I've heard, um, there's going to be grief mode, or pretty much it's four people versus another four people versus zombies, and you pretty much just need to try and get the other, like, team killed as much as you can, like, trap them in corners and other stuff. There's going to be classic mode, and then, um, uh, what's the other mode? I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, I've just heard like bits and pieces of this information and then there's supposed to be a, another thing with um, Now like the zombie eyes are blue or some shit and that is because uh, Rick Toven now or Rick Toven or However, you want to call his, say his name uh, He actually controls the zombies now. So uh, Rick Toven was a uh, Character you played as before he was the German doctor so, um, I don't know how this is going to work. I'm pretty sure he was a German doctor. So, I don't know how this is going to work. I do not know if he's going to be, like, a playable character anymore or anything. But that's one thing I heard. So, he's controlling the zombies. Another thing I heard, there's going to be a map called Transit. Uh, or some shit like that where you're on a bus and you're driving around, like, run over. You can run over, uh, the zombies and stuff and you can... Upgrade your bus, like get a, a plow on the front. You can like plow through them. Um, another thing, these are just rumors. Um, say, like pretty much all I'm saying right now is rumors. Like some stuff's confirmed, some stuff isn't. Um, I think most of it is confirmed. They've been leaking pictures 
slash releasing pictures um of like there's one of something that looks like a workbench so it looks like maybe you like build shit um like a wonder weapon that's what a lot of people are thinking like you build a this epic wonder weapon of some sort um some people think it's just there to be there and um some people think because in some pictures there's actually um like there was one picture they released the other day of a lawnmower and people are saying like oh you get this lawnmower and you can uh like it's an item you can grab and you can run over zombies with it because the quotes that they left for the lawnmower picture i forget what they were it was something about like why waste this piece of equipment when you can use it or some something along those lines so people are implementing that you can run zombies over with a lawnmower and then bring this lawnmower to the workbench and take parts off of it to make a epic wonder weapon which would like rape zombies and uh some people are saying that uh that's true some people say they don't believe it uh i'm not sure i'm kind of sitting on the fence i just want to see what is going to happen in the gameplay tonight uh, hopefully it gives some more information and then maybe i'll just do um a video talking about black ops or something like that and um if you guys want to check out uh the actual like information that i'm getting this from like the actual guy i'm getting this from uh it's tom reed one or tom red one i don't know his name off by heart it's something along those lines i'll put his uh channel in the description below because he's a really cool guy uh his accent kind of gets annoying it's like a really strong british accent and it gets annoying and it sounds like he has saliva problems when he talks because it sounds like there's like saliva in his mouth sometimes but that's just personally me I, I like his videos but his voice gets irritating very easily but uh have no worries because his videos are only like three minutes long usually and uh they have a lot of information about the game so another topic I'd like to talk about is um, the pick 10 create a class and how that's going to work and um, how actually unlocking weapons is going to work. And um, like I said, all this information I'm getting is either confirmed or rumored and it's coming from this Tom Reed guy or whatever the hell is actual name is, I don't know. And um, uh, one of the things he's saying is that... Like, obviously, you guys should know how the pick 10 class works. Um, there's 10 slots where you can put equipment. You have 10 credits to put whatever equipment you want in whatever slot. So you can run around for, say, with just a knife and all, uh, and, like, say, 9 perks if you wanted to. And, boom, those are your 10 credits right there. Uh, another thing people are, or another thing he said is about the leveling and how you unlock stuff. And, um... Now that they confirmed combat training, there's different types of combat combat training. I said combat. Anyways, there's different types of combat training where there's like the classic one where you play with your friends. There is ranked combat training where you play against bots until level 10. Uh, I think it's called like recruit or newbie or some shit like that. And you can actually play until level 10. So when you go into actual multiplayer, you'll be level 10 and you can create your class and stuff. So you'll get to know some classes and um, there's another game mode where you're actually playing against like there's three bots on a team and three actual people on a team. So uh, you can play that until like first prestige if you want instead of playing normal multiplayer you can just play combat training versus three bots three people. But the downfall about that is that um, you only get half the amount of XP you normally would and I guess they did that because you're playing against bots most of the time so. It's, uh, it's going to be pretty easy to get some kills. But, um, anyways, uh, the thing about uh, unlocking weapons is, uh, I don't know if this is confirmed or rumored, but this is what the Tom Red guy or Reed or whatever the hell his name is said. Uh, he said that every level, um, you're going to get, I think, one token. It's not like prestige tokens at all. You're going to get one token. To pick from seven items to unlock so then you pick one of those seven items and then you have it for the rest of the level and uh what he thought was gonna happen at first is once you unlock that item like the, your first time you get it forever 
and like you just carry it on through your prestige. He doesn't know if that's gonna happen anymore. I hopefully, uh, I hope they do, because I think it's level 55 to prestige. So, uh, 55 levels, you only get to pick one out of seven things every level. So it's gonna be a pain in the ass to pick what you want to use, and you're not gonna be able to use anything or everything in the game like your first prestige that's the whole point of this but what they should do is have it so that you can carry the shit through so if you want to stop by like see by the time you hit prestige 3 you should be able to have everything unlocked they should have it so that you can just stop there but what they really want to do in this game is get everyone to like get to max prestige and uh, I don't know how it's gonna work in max prestige like say your last prestige you just get to get all seven items or something shit but I don't know uh, this is just rumored. He is not 100% sure if uh, it's legitimate. I'm not 100% sure. Um, when I watched the Gamescom or Gamescon or whatever, uh, they didn't really mention anything about it. They just talked about the pick 10, create a class, and all that shit. So, uh, honestly, I hope it's the first thing I said where you unlock one of the seven items, and then you just carry it on through the prestige. Or I hope they just do it like they normally did in Call of Duty. Oh, excuse me, I just burped. Uh, but yeah, I just, I hope they do something. That's honestly all I care about. And, uh, another thing that I'm interested about is the, uh, campaign. The campaign seems interesting. There's gonna be, uh, what they call sandbox missions. It's not like a full sandbox, um, like game. Where, like, saying Grand Theft Auto, you can just go do whatever the hell you want. This is more, like, linear sandbox. So, like, uh, every other mission, for example, you'll, uh, have the sandbox mission where you pick what you want to do. You can, uh, either play normal mode where you're, like, a soldier like I am right now. Uh, Overwatch mode where you're just looking over top and it's, like, a strategy game and you're sending your soldiers. Or there's, um aerial mode or some shit like that where you're just in like uh say you have uh quad rotor drones or like air attacks coming in you're just controlling them and um say you fail that mission and you die uh it varies how the campaign will go and i think you have five tries to actually pass the mission and then after those five tries if you fail on the fifth try then you're done you wasted all your infantry on that level and you fail and then you'll play campaign again the normal campaign then once you get to the next sandbox mission you'll get to pick again and do it all over with uh, separate missions and uh they have uh, actual footage of someone playing on one of the sandbox missions and uh this footage was came out a while ago uh and i can't think of the name of this map uh, I don't know why, but I just can't. But, uh, it seems like it's going to be a pretty cool campaign. Uh, it's a new type of thing they're doing. And, uh, it seems pretty interesting. It's, uh, kind of, it's kind of a new entry onto how Call of Duty was before. It's uh, a lot more, like, fan-friendly. And, uh, they're actually listening to what the fans want a lot more. Uh, that's what I like about David Vonderhaar. He actually listens and plays the game. Unlike freaking Robert Trolling, as I like to call him. Because he made a bunch of lies and just trolled the shit out of everyone. Um, if you actually watch footage of uh, Robert Bowling playing, he has absolutely no idea what he's doing. And David Vonderhaar is actually good at the game. And like, he literally plays. Every time he adds something into the game, he plays it right after he adds it in. Tests it, see how it is takes it out if it's bad, keeps it if it's good, and uh, he listens to what the fans say, so I really like what he's doing with the game, uh, it seems like it's going to be very awesome, and uh, yeah, and another thing I like about the game is that they're actually talking to real military personnel, and like military enthusiasts or war enthusiasts or some shit like that about if this shit's possible and like if it will happen and um some of the people are saying like this stuff is it's really close to happening because 
warfare is getting a, a lot more modern than it used to be pretty much like it is in the game there's a lot of quad rotor dro drones and all that stuff and like it's like all robots doing the work for you and um they say in a couple years this could be happening uh what's going on in the game and there could be like world war three or some shit going on because i'm pretty sure in iraq in iran or somewhere around there um there was oil found just on the border between them so uh none of them can claim the oil but they're starting to fight over it and uh, it could get other people involved with um that whole dealio and there might be a war for the oil pretty much like the cold war uh back in the 1960s was it i might sound like a complete ass right now saying 1960s i have no idea i honestly don't I, it's somewhere in the 19 19th century i'm not sure it was a bit after uh world war ii i'm pretty sure so yeah I'm guessing 1960s around there but they think that that's possible uh, to happen and they're saying that it is easy for the enemy to steal the keys or some shit like that pretty much like what it is black ops so um black ops could possibly be like a true st story of what's happening uh, now and what's gonna happen soon but uh, I'm not sure I'm just gonna wait and see what happens and uh, this kind of brings me on to my next topic and this isn't so much about black ops I pretty much just said all the information I know about black ops this is uh, pretty much about what I'd do if this war actually happened and uh, I'd have to say I'd probably shit my pants and cry a little and then just start killing shit I'll just be like you know what fuck it I'm gonna die just start blowing shit up and like demolish stuff and like join the army and everything that's what I'm uh, I'll do if the world actually ends in 2012 December 25th or whatever day it is I doubt it's actually gonna end but you never know you never know let's get this guy god damn it stop moving Hopefully the sniping in Black Ops is better than this shit. Oh no! I'm gonna shot at. Where's this bitch? There he is. Why is my mouse so dumb right now? Mm. God damn it! I forgot there's no drop in this game. Just gotta aim right on there. My bullet's not reaching him, or... I honestly think my bullets don't reach him. That's a pretty good sniper. Unless there is drop, I don't know. I don't snipe a lot in this game. Who cares? He ran away. See how much time's left. Two more minutes of me dying, then it's done. So I guess in this two minutes, I can just summarize what I. MP5 plus three. What the freak gun is that? Wow. I guess in this past or next two minutes, I can summarize pretty much what I talked about. I talked about Black Ops uh, zombies and how they're making it. Totally different than what it used to be. Same with the multiplayer. I really like what they're doing with the multiplayer. Um, I'm getting the Prestige Edition of the game, which is like 200 bucks, and it's really epic though. And uh, I'm very excited for the game. I hope it's awesome. It better be because I'm spending 200 bucks on it. Hopefully, it's not a uh, repeat of Modern Warfare 3. It was good for like a week, and then no one played it anymore. And yeah, what else did I talk about? Uh, I talked about the campaign, the sandbox missions. That seems pretty cool. Talked about how this shit could possibly happen. That's happening in Black Ops 2. It could happen in the next couple of years. 
so that's gonna be interesting. Um, what else did I talk about? I talked about the world ending, and if that war actually started, what I'd do. And that would be shit my pants, and just go on a rampage of killing stuff. Because there would be no, like, order anymore in the world. So I'd just be like, yep, yeah, shoot a guy. Just be like, boom, headshot. And just run around shooting people. But hopefully, if that does happen in real life, my skills will be better than they are in this game. In real life. Because if my skills in real life are like it is in this game, I would have died, like, a long time ago. Like, what the fuck? Okay. Perfect timing. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to do more like this, but next time I do this, maybe I'll write a script and I'll be more prepared for the video because I'm kind of just thinking of the stuff off the top of my head from videos I've watched. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.